Hey, they think that they want it, but they don't really want it. Don't really want it. I strike with no warning. No, they don't see it coming. Don't see it coming. I handle my business. Stay the fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane. Get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, she, it's all in there, too. I know it's all. And that hoe will hear you busting, dog. And that's how you know that that hoe is, she's scheming. As you eek, this hoe is scooting down on the dick. She slides. So if you're on top of her, she's scooting down on the dick. If she's on top of you, she is steady fucking riding. And you're not going to stop her because, fuck. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. And she just steady riding that shit. And that shit, and you be thinking that shit cool. Like that shit is live as fuck. In that moment. But then when you go in the bathroom, or she get up and go to the bathroom, because maybe you just too fucking high. She get up and go to the bathroom. It's the way that she walk off. She don't turn around and smile like ha. Even if she do turn around and smile, but it's like it ain't no loving situation. It's like it's straight business. She going to the bathroom. See, Southside, I try to holler at you, my nigga. I try to scream at you, my nigga. I try to holler at you, dog, and say, you know what I'm saying? Look, dog, if you ain't know, I put this edict out way before. Like, dog, anybody who date one of the city girls is a lame ass nigga. Anybody who get them pregnant is a lame ass nigga because he know what the fuck he got coming. This bitch just told you in front of the world, I used you for a check, you lame ass nigga. And she's showing the whole world, period, bitch. Drama side, nigga, can't catch you I mean, your mama dying, nigga, pull up Walk down on shit, that's how I ride a ride Nigga gon' bag you up, strapped or whatever Seen it a lot of times, you know Homicides before raps, it was dope heads in a pot of line, check the power line You in the wrong part, it's buku hectic Bring a long torch, nigga, rip your daddy shit up He pull up in front the wrong porch Ah, uh, while my partner smoked my la partner That took a strong heart, he used to sleep on his flu He had hit the man on his own porch Shake it real loose, just stay the fuck Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I gotta find out what I'm sure it's an R. Kelly episode. Um, a lot of episodes coming at y'all. Stay tuned, man. Um, welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement, and this is a bulletproof vest. Um, without the plates in it, because that would be illegal. Um, shout out to all my real niggas. That when I was standing up amongst all the niggas laughing about it looking like a bib and shit like that. Shout out to my niggas who, who noticed uh, certain things about the um, about this thing right here. Also, if you're new, you must be new here if you don't know um, why I put this vest. Whenever I put this vest on me, I'm finna go fucking in. And this is, are you fucking serious? Um, before we get started, uh... Of course, I already shot the shit, and, um, uh, nigga hit me up and shit like that. Shout the fuck out to Low Village. Low Village has shot, sat down with every, at this point, they've sat down with every major label that there is, and they have not signed a fucking, none of them. Shout out. Re-fucking spec, man. I'm gonna try my damnedest to put... A snippet of Low Village, one of their videos and their music in the background of every fucking video that I can. 
because I, I'm, I'm running a little test here. It's like, we don't fuck with this, you know, the bullshit music, but then when it's real music with real substance, real content, we don't support that either. When I say support, I mean we won't even watch the shit. This is Low Village is somebody I'm telling you. I'm telling you right here. Verified. Sat down. No, nah, we ain't doing it. I mean, just looking at them, you can tell, obviously, a label, pick them up, make them the new Fuji's down the road. They didn't do the shit, man. Fuck with Low Village immediately. Go fuck with that new For the Children. They got many other songs. Just go to the Low Village YouTube channel. Go to the Low Village Instagram. Man, Ayo told me to come over here and see what y'all had got going on, man. What's going on, man? We rocking. We in this bitch. And spread the fucking word, man. I salute shit like that, man. Because it is it's extremely hard not to... Um, not to se- You have to be a certain type of individual not to sell out. When you do... When you do get recognized for your potential, it's, you got to be a, a, a hell of a person not to sell out. Um, there's, there's politics all around everything that we're doing. So much so that I, I, I won't even talk about certain shit as shot. I can't speak. Um, but fuck with them, man. Shout my nigga uh, Pacino, too. for uh, He's the one who chopped and screwed the uh, winning streak. Um, I will be... And he chopped and screwed. Um, and the Winter Street song is by Ripper City. You're not going to find it on YouTube. He don't do none of that. He's just a good artist. Right? This is my brother. Right here in Daphne. Um, fuck with him. Heavy. Long time. But Pacino also chopped and screwed the Trey HD Don't Be a Dummy song on Firmitos on Monday. This Monday's live stream. If this video hasn't came out yet. Really hope that this video came out before Monday. That nigga missed um, so shout out to Pacino and Trey HD and River City and Low Village. All right, Southside, what's happening, my nigga? What's up, Southside? What the word is? Yeah, I told you, didn't it? I told you, but see, we as niggas, though. When our uncle or somebody, but see, this this ain't no uncle type shit. Even if it ain't our uncle, just when anybody come at us, but yeah, let's say uncle, anybody with experience come at us and tell us, you know, how a bitch he is, a nigga's always going to say, not me, unk. Nah, that ain't me, my nigga. That, that happened to you. That ain't going to happen to me, my nigga. I'm a different breed, my nigga. Just look at us. You know what I'm saying? South side up, just shining, stupid, retarded. But then we find out that Southside already has baby mama. So it's like, what the fuck do you have got going? Like, what's going on with you, my nigga? So off of that move, anybody who dates Young Miami, anybody who dates Cardi B is is lame as fuck, period. Let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. Gets them pregnant. Lame as fuck. I'm going to say that because you can be dating to to help your career or whatever like that. But you keep that shit so live. Like, bitch, I'm not finna fuck. Finna get 18 years out like this whole just said. Finna get no 18 years of payment out of me, bitch. And maybe that's how that shit started. Like, I'm just I'm just with this whole, you know what I'm saying? Get my career where it need to be at. You no, know, that, that way it's at right now. Couples. Shit, that's how you get up for real. So maybe that's where you was at. And then fuck around with that dope. You know what I'm saying? Chewing them fucking perks and shit like that. And then you're like, fuck it, dog. I ain't pulling out, dog. Fuck that shit, dog. Fuck that shit, dog. Fuck that, man. Fuck it. Ugh, eek. Eagle Street. Hey, yo, what it do, man? It's your man, Ayo Conseco. I'm tuning in with the Big Face Podcast. One. I can't do it. I can't do it. That just ain't my style, dog. I just, I just got to keep it real. 
Look, dog, let me holler at y'all. Look, I don't put that Patreon, them numbers for the Patreon. That's for AO Nation. If you're in AO Nation, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put all the videos. They won't be listed on YouTube. So if you want all the videos and shit like that, you need to be a Patreon. If you want to contribute to the conversation that we have every Monday night, we go live on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to contribute to that conversation, have the call in number to where you can call in at any fucking time during those lives, you need to be a Patreon. I don't put those Patreon numbers in the men two numbers at the beginning of the show just so you can hear Winning Streak. As a matter of fact, if you want the whole Winning Streak single, all you have to do is send $2 to the Cash App or the PayPal, um, and I'll send the song to whatever email is attached to your PayPal or Cash App. It's not that fucking hard. Um, but the Patreon is for AO Nation. I expect y'all to fuck with that. Um, and before y'all start asking, this hat is not for sale. Um, the markup on it is too high. I was just trying to see what that shit looked like for real. The markup is too high right now, so I have to sell that shit for like $30, and I'm not prepared to say that to y'all. Um, so right now we just have the men two t-shirts for 20 uh, Big Face Podcast. We got the new Navy Blue Big Face Podcast uh, t-shirt. Uh, 15, everything is 15 with the Men 2 t-shirt. Then you got the Big Face Podcast Scully for uh, $10 deal. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 and put all your information in that motherfucker. Um, I salute everybody, all of my niggas, all of the Men 2, Men 2, Men 2 members, AO Nation members that have been donating to the show. As you know, I'm a nigga on YouTube, so it is what it is. So when you contribute, it's a big deal to me, um, but don't go crazy. Uh, but every uh, third Sunday, we do the AO Nation donation conversation where I shout out everybody who showed love uh, within that period and shit like that. If you don't want to be mentioned during that show, all you have to do is put no mention and you won't be mentioned. Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who shows love every third Sunday. It seemed like my message has went out there to where people know if you're a small business, you gotta have at least $100 for promotion. Uh, if you're an artist, you need to have at least $200 for promotion. Other than that, just leave me alone. I do this shit by myself, but I salute everybody for really giving me my time, giving my space to do what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So I salute you. You wanna go to work? Let's go to work. If IG sponsorship shit is not doing shit for you, and you know that. So handle your fucking business, holler at me. Let's get some shit done. I see y'all in a minute. Get your shit together, be home. Eek! Eek! Ah! E. And she just, I'm talking, this hoe just smiling like a motherfucker. Yes. Yes, she, it's all in there too. I know it's all. And that hoe will hear you busting, dog. And this how you know that that hoe is, she's scheming. As you eek! This hoe is scooting down on the dick. She slides, so if you're on top of her, she's scooting down on the dick. If she's on top of you, she is steady fucking riding. And you're not going to stop her because... Fuck! Oh. oh, shit! Oh! And she just steady riding that shit. And that shit, and you be thinking that shit cool. Like, that shit is live as fuck. In that moment. But then when you go in the bathroom... Or she get up and go to the bathroom because maybe you just too fucking high. She get up and go to the bathroom. It's the way that she walk off. She don't turn around and smile like ha. Even if she do turn around and smile, but it's like it ain't no loving situation. It's like it's straight business. She going to the bathroom, but it's it's some different shit. She might be going to the bathroom to make you think. That she's finna piss that shit out. No, this hoe is going to the bathroom to get a warm rag. But maybe she not finna go get a warm rag. You know what I'm saying? That hoe trying to make sure that she just trying to warm the rag up and bring it back to you or some shit like that. This hoe ain't finna warm. She ain't finna touch shit. She want that shit. She it be clenching. Make sure I don't drop this shit. So that hoe she might just stay in the bed and clench. Ain't no fucking telling. But this was her fucking plan. 
We found out that Lala did that same shit to Carmelo. She sucked the baby up out of him. And, it, and I, I, I really ain't got no, I don't have no mother. Fuck, man. I don't have no um, cure-all for this shit except for the three S's. Like I said, um, I'm going to be honest with you, dog. It's a hard fight out here with this man two shit. This is a very hard fight. Um, I've had a lawyer at this point walk the fuck off on me. On some... Nah, I didn't know we were doing all this. We don't do... It. What the fuck? And, you know, with my mindset, it's like, what the fuck, dog? Is this the way it's supposed to... Like, uh, it, is this like an unwritten law? Like, never go against this. We'll take your fucking, you know, legal license or whatever the fuck if you ever go against this one. You know, I'm going to be honest with y'all, dog. I fucking know this, dog. Once I started pushing that me into shit, dog... I ain't gonna speak on it. But, nigga, this shit is real than a motherfucker, man. And, and you know what? To be honest with you, my, my nigga, like, it's on some shit like this. For the support that I'm... I salute every one of the over 5,000 people that signed a petition. And you know, like, you know what, dog? If, <laughs> if I had set my sights on anything else, I probably wouldn't even be disappointed. Like, damn, 5,000, that's good as fuck. But I set my sights on 10,000, which I, I don't like. I, the math is very fucking easy. It's very easy math. Dog, I, I be having more than 10,000 views on every one of my videos. On every fucking one. There's not one video under 10,000 views. That was generous. But it's, it's, it's for this type of shit, though, my nigga. This bitch, as you saw at the beginning of the show, um, this whole went on... I, I'm, I'm guessing this is Twitter, because I've never seen this uh, format before. I don't have no Twitter. Um, it reads, The city boys really think they winning right now. Y'all delusional. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought that somebody had put that there. I thought somebody put that there, and I it, sometimes my mom do this shit too. Um, I'll I'll skim past shit. All right, so it says the city. So I'm sure it says girls. So the city girls really think they winning right now. Y'all delusional. So I'm like, okay. So somebody said that about this post being made. I didn't read it as no. She said this is. Young Miami saying the city boys really think they winning right now. Y'all delusional. And then that's where this shit starts at. So I was like, but I can see what, all, when I see I secured 18 years, it's like, I, I can't imagine how this nigga feel to be put out there like that. So, uh, one of my niggas on Instagram said, uh, Mr. Financial, I think, uh, said she put that nigga on the glass. Let me let me read it out to you. After she said that, a nigga named Mr. Crave said, How you gonna say this, but you pregnant and Meg got a boyfriend? Y'all losing for real. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I, me, I'm, I guess I'm just retarded and shit like that. I'm not sure how. Meg, I, it didn't sound right. Like Meg got a boyfriend, y'all losing. I guess I, you know what? I guess what it is. So if we talking about winning, we talking about city boys is fucking a whole bunch of hoes, 
and city girls is supposed to be fucking a whole bunch of niggas. So now he coming like, cause that's that's how he took it. Like that's that's that had, you must be talking about who's fucking the most. Um, and obviously the city boys are fucking the most, and they out here winning and shit like that. Fucking hoes getting money while y'all are getting pregnant and having boyfriends, but promoting fucking 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 nigga fucking nigga. You a fuck like no nigga. Beat breaking back. Woo. I'm gonna tell you something, dog. If a girl has the city girls anywhere on her profile, you need to get the fuck from around, dog. I'm smart in any fucking setting. In any setting. If she's listening to this shit, if it's on her Instagram, dog, you need to get the fuck out of there. I'm gonna say that. A lot of you niggas. Been in my motherfucking DM. A lot of you niggas been in my DM. I ain't gonna say shit. Relationships ain't going that well. A lot of you... Listen to me, my nigga. If she do not like you listening to me, you need to get the fuck from around, dog. I ain't speaking nothing but logic. You got a nothing ass bitch on your hands, my nigga. And you know you do. You know you do. And if you still with this, <laughs> she make you watch this shit. Oh my god. Like this so she making you go somewhere else and watch she make you walk down the street and watch this shit. You gotta sneak and watch this shit. Because she don't like you watching this shit. My nigga, that's a telltale sign that you do not have your shit together. And it's because you don't want to have your shit together. You don't want to give up the weed. The drink, the pills. So you're dependent, you're handicapped. So you have to do what she say. Man, I wish a bitch would. Man, nigga, I got five dogs in this hole right now. Wish a motherfucker, nigga, nigga, about to be two o'clock in the morning. I'm about to go to Walmart and buy some ice cream or some shit like that. Whatever the fuck I feel like, get an icy from Circle K or some shit. Do whatever the fuck I want, man. Put your motherfucker wood. Tell me anything about anything. But that's because I went through a horrible, a horrible time where it wasn't nothing going on. Name is fucking mud. I'm trying, it, but it's only mud because these, the people that I'm around in my city, in my county, the minds of the majority is mud. You know what I'm saying? If you don't go to work, you're not successful. Oh, I'm out there. I'm out. Shit, I'm fucked up anyway. So how could you look at me walking up and down the road trying to think of a master plan as anything other than an insane nigga? Why the fuck don't you just go to work? Which, which I did. I did go to work. I, I, I went to work. I mean, but we're talking about a career. Why don't you just go to work and why the fuck you trying to get some more than it? Why the fuck you trying to get more than everybody? You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. But if you won't, if you won't go through that miserable two years, so that means that you leave this hoe that you with, that you've been wanting to dip on, you don't find her attractive. She's not attractive. She's a mean spirited motherfucker. She disrespects you. She's embarrassing to be around because she don't give a fuck how she look. But you have integrity. So you don't want to argue in front of the neighbors or be banging the walls and all that shit like that. And what she's mad about, she's mad that you don't find her attractive. And that's really when the shit went awry. She's thinking that you don't find her attractive. <laughs> this the, is this the idea she makes up in her mind. The idea she makes up in her mind is the reason why you don't want to fuck her. She, 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 I mean, she's a grown woman. She feels the vibe. She knows that, you know, she knows how it feels to be sexy. You know what I'm saying? Or, or at least for the, the first time a nigga fuck her, you know, a nigga might, you know, try to caress the titty. Or, you know what I'm saying? Put hands on her ass or something like that. Whatever the fuck. You know, why you getting hit or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Now nah, you're like, man, move, man. I'm playing the game. 
she catches all that shit, and that's the shit that goes into her mind. And in, the, in order for her not, in order for her to do the least productive thing, which would be if I'm not attractive, let me go out here and work out so I will be attractive. Change it or change my mindset to where I'm attractive. Or, fuck it, you don't find me attractive, hey, I'm going to need you to leave my house because I don't want nobody in this bitch that don't want to be in this motherfucker. Leave. And if a bitch has told you to leave, and you didn't leave, then you a nothing ass nigga. And I don't support you by any fucking means. And I don't want you hiding behind me either. If you're a nothing ass nigga, I don't want you nowhere. Or a nerd ass nigga. And you can be a nerd ass nigga, but just don't be a, a nothing ass nerd ass nigga. If you're a layman, if you don't got no, if hoes don't want you, and I don't really want to say that shit. Dog, if hoes don't want you, but you don't have no issue with women, that's fine. But if, if, the bitches aren't coming on to you and that's your gripe like this little short nigga that's going around the internet he's mad because the bitches don't do shit but take his money and shit a lot of you niggas are dealing with that same fucking issue and then you come on my motherfucking shit to my son ah you nothing ass bitches man I'm, I'm tired of these nabs and all, all that other shit my, no 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 you're tired of life you're tired of life and, but you just don't want to do nothing about it my nigga you can change that shit dog you can go and work the fuck out and a bitch will fall for a nigga with a body. Period. You don't gotta go get no tattoos in your fucking face. Nigga, go work the fuck out. And hoes will want you. But don't hide behind me. Um, but if that if she told you to leave, you need to fucking leave. And and better yet, my nigga, if you don't find her attractive, stop mooching off of her. Stop mooching off of her. You fucking drug addict. Leave. If you don't want to be with this motherfucker, leave. She's not going to change her mind. Obviously, her mind is the way it is. My nigga, go out and about and live your life how it's supposed to be lived. You're not getting anywhere in life. You've been in this same fucking spot. Maybe not with the same bitch, but you're living with a hoe. Living with a hoe. Living with a hoe. Getting money. Living with a hoe. Getting money. Living with a hoe. You're in the same fucking spot. You need to do something different. Get the fuck out of her shit or his shit or that whoever's couch that you on. Go out here on your own. Drop everything. If it's weed, drop the fucking weed. Stop comparing yourself to Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg. Go to my Instagram and see what Daylight said. These rappers are telling you and showing you shit that, so that you don't succeed. So that you don't get on the level they're on. As I told y'all. These motherfuckers are not smoking all day. And they damn sure ain't smoking they whole fucking checkup. Nigga, you don't get but 360 every two weeks. Till my buying a zip. Allow. Hell yeah, we smoke like you we roll paper planes. Paper planes? Oh man, this nigga said paper planes. My nigga, your life is so fucking embarrassing. Dog, paper planes, but you hate your fucking job. This is the only way I can deal with that shit, bro. It's the only if I ain't, if I ain't smoke, man, I'd be a kill somebody. If you didn't smoke, the person that you would kill would be the dead version of yourself and you would come alive you know what I'm saying the real you will be resurrected right now you've stacked so many dead versions of yourself on top of your real self that and you're not even helping them get out of this position and and sometimes he try to talk to you like man stop smoking this weed and you hear him and the louder and louder he get, the more you want to smoke so you can't hear him no more. The more you want to pop so you can't hear it no more. But that, that inner you, that person that you're trying to bury for whatever reason, because maybe that person, he's going to have to deal with the fact that she left you or he left you or uh, daddy died, mama died, whatever, or you didn't get to this point. Or maybe just the fact that you just wanted to have fun and you smoked away, popped away, snorted away, five years of your fucking life and you don't want to have to start 
that far off in the game. But all you're doing is stacking more and more years on top of that. So, she says, the city boys really think they winning. Uh, Y'all delusional. Mr. Craig says, how you saying this, but you pregnant and Meg got a boyfriend. Y'all losing. Now, that last part I wouldn't say, y'all, I mean, if, if we talking about uh, who out here fucking the most and, and, and you know what I'm saying fucking multiple people getting a body count up I guess yeah you losing alright she come back young Miami say Mr. Crave I'm pregnant by a producer laugh out loud and Meg on her hot girl shit period and that shit makes me so fucking mad my nigga that makes me so fucking... That period shit, like, after you just said some retarded shit, like, hold on, bitch, you mean comma? Because you need to continue if you're going to make a point. You can pause, but you can't make a, a whole stop right here. Comma. Not period, bitch. Man on her hot girl shit, comma... We going hard. I, this motherfucker got plenty of money. Got plenty of niggas in my... Like, you need to go the fuck on and make that point. I'm pregnant by a producer. Laugh out loud. We'll get to, to uh, Southside. Uh, A.K.A. Sucker Lux. In a second. But I'm I'm pregnant by a producer. Laugh out loud. That means I got plenty of money. And Meg on her hot girl shit. Period. How was Meg on her hot girl shit if we have just confirmed that? And I I just seen on one of them shows them uh, that Jimmy Fallon some shit like that. Uh, but right now we talking about what you promote. Being a hot girl, fucking sucking, stripping. And that's not what's going on. It seems that you're living the homemaker life and advising everybody else to live the whole life. I wonder if one of these motherfuckers that you're sending out there to live the whole life and influencing to live that whole life, I wonder if they can come to you when they tell you, and, and tell you that they've contracted AIDS from living that hot girl life. Because here's the thing, bitch. Fucking with a rich nigga? I'm not using no fucking condom, bitch. I'm not using no fucking condom, bitch. This is my fucking pussy hoe. I paid for this. Cash money. Birkin bag. Five, six figures. Bitch, I'm not wearing no fucking condom, bitch. This is why you got motherfuckers running around Pritchard and uh, Westmobile with AIDS because the nigga had the fucking bag and they knew he had fucking AIDS. But I didn't pay... I'm not finna win no bitch, you crazy? And if you wanna keep getting this money, bitch, I'm gonna fuck raw. Here, take this goddamn Travada, you straight. Nigga done told, nigga got AIDS, plenty of holes, plenty of dope. Wish you nigga would ask me why the fuck I get out the street. You insane, nigga. Ask me why the fuck I'm celibate. Is you insane, nigga? Big Birkin bag, bitch. That pussy is paid for. Didn't get you no motherfucking McDonald's meal. How the fuck you gonna tell me that he go a rubber? Rubber for what? For the road? We ain't leaving yet. I'm finna get my pussy out of this paid for. Yeah, I'm finna get my pussy out of this paid for. So you just keep the rubber. Put the rubber on the roll. I'm finna get my pussy I just paid for. The fuck you think this is, bitch? You been listening to too much of goddamn city girls. That shit don't happen that fast. That you just heard a 16. You that, that was a that was 16 bars. Bitch, you finna get everything. And I just took a C Alice and a motherfucking Viagra, bitch. It's finna go down. You crazy? Bitch. To put a rubber, bitch. So we go on. 
and uh need my fucking glasses. Uh we go on now. Here come Sucker Lux. Southside say uh I murdered the summer. This emoji. Hashtag city boys. So he coming up, you know, like yeah man, I'm here. You know, let's 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 be respectful. You know, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm that producer. You know what I'm saying? I I, I know you ain't mean it like that, but I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention whatever been going on behind the scene with them. Because whatever uh Carisha, which is this bitch young Miami, nothing ass bitch Miami. Whatever Carisha you was used to suck a look south side. That bitch is dead and gone. Oh no, this Carisha with your child in her. A lot I made a fucking post on um uh, Instagram where a nigga uh, it was a, a scene from a movie somebody had recorded. A lot of folks thought that was me. But uh a scene where um a bitch was saying I'm pregnant and nigga like how how many weeks pregnant you is and I'm two months pregnant. This nigga hard off and punched that bitch in the stomach. And see a lot of folks like uh, I don't see shit funny here. Did you see anything funny here? Was this funny to you? Because I'm sure that you nothing ass bitches find this shit fucking hilarious. It's not funny when a nigga take from a bitch what she took from him. It's obvious he, you're a, if you have a child by a nigga who don't want to have a child with you, you're a nothing ass bitch. How the fuck is that hard? You don't believe in any religion. You don't believe in any God. You don't even give a fuck up. You don't even believe in your whole your your own uh, biology. You don't give a fuck about your body, bitch. You do. You don't drink shit but sodas and, and fucking hot chips. But that was your fault, nigga. Cause you knew that whole pussy stain, and you still ain't wear a condom. That was your fault, nigga. And I'm saying it's your fault. So bitches don't get like, oh yeah, see, it's your fault. No, no, no. It's his fault because he knew that she was a nothing ass bitch. See, a nigga, I'm not going to uh, celebrate wrong. If it's wrong, it's wrong, no matter who it's done by. But for some reason, as a bitch, you just stand behind it. Yeah, bitch, he posing no. He posing no what? That you're a nothing ass bitch? How can you stand behind a bitch like but when it come to watch when it's your son? Watch when it's your son. Bitch, you know he ain't want you gonna say you, you, bitch, when it's your brother, your daddy, your uncle. That bitch knew he ain't want that bitch trying to trap him. But you are this in that in the same and that's a, you are nothing you are the same bitch that um uh, uh we need justice for uh, Mike Brown we need justice for Freddie Gray but Monday morning your ass is going to that child support office Sucker Luck come in and say. I murdered the summer. You know they let I'm here. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I'm 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 coming in with a with a neutral, you know what I'm saying, theme and shit like that. All good. Young Miami, this is the part that I, I'm guessing you nothing ass bitch you're gonna find hilarious. She come in and say, I secured 18 years. Hashtag city girls. With a cash money face. And Future's six baby mama said, period. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. If it unfocus. If it didn't unfocus, it's gonna look really fucking ridiculous. See, 
Southside, I try to holler at you, my nigga. I try to scream at you, my nigga. I try to holler at you, dog, and say, you know what I'm saying? Look, dog, if you ain't know, I put this edict out way before. Like, dog, anybody who date one of the city girls is a lame-ass nigga. Anybody who get them pregnant is a lame-ass nigga because he know what the fuck he got coming. This bitch just told you in front of the world, I used you for a check, you lame-ass nigga. And she's showing the whole world, period. Bitch, it don't matter if you want the baby. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Southside, I'm going to say this to you, my nigga. Because it was so much steam coming off your chest, you wanted to flex so much, kissing the baby, mm, you going to come out there, you going to come out... Kissing the stomach and shit like that, my nigga. The, the men two doors are closed for you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Chris Brown, you running a motherfucking. You, you want thin ice, my nigga. You want thin ice. Thin ice. About to start closing the doors on niggas. About to start closing the doors on niggas. South side, the first nigga I'm uh, closing the door on in his face. Cause nigga, you thought you was big baller. I said, nigga, you need to handle business, nigga. You weren't hearing nothing. Big baller, big dog. Wasn't no words. You way liver than me. You know way more than me. Handle your business, my nigga. Gonna be a big deal. You gonna be making beats, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you, you gonna be making beats, nigga, and, and nigga until fucking. You dead, nigga. Cause uh, child support don't go on what you make; it go on what you're uh, capable of making. So that's your ass, my nigga. And I think that that's how it should be coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna get on the whole side. I'm gonna start telling niggas. I'm gonna start naming the niggas who it's over with for. Suck a look. It's over with for you, my nigga. It's over with. Uh, Young Miami chose to use the um, the Cardi B blueprint, the Cardi B model, and uh, went out there and got us somebody in the entertainment industry. Like, I don't like doing this music shit, music shit like this. Carisha really wasn't no music hoe. And another thing, my nigga, another reason why you lame as fuck is because even though, I'll be honest, Carisha ain't, I ain't never seen a hoe without makeup, but this hoe ain't bad like that. She ain't bad like that. Somebody in your lane could get like a real, real bad hoe. And because that hoe really don't got no name like that, you could really address this hoe and make this hoe how you want her. But you was being greedy, trying to, you know what I'm saying, muscle up and went outside your lane because this hoe just gained the fuck out of you. She just gained the fuck out of you. Do you know how fucking ridiculous you look in front of everybody? How do you explain this away? Sucker Luck says, I murdered the summer. So I guess maybe she took it like, and that tell me that y'all communication ain't, ain't on shit because, and I guess you're seeing a real Carisha now because now she coming out the box making all the posts that she want to post. Fuck with this nigga on side me saying, I run this shit. And this is how we have so many fucked up ass niggas because we have a woman trying to drive and play the man's part. And this is exactly how, you know what I'm saying? They said it to be. And this is why they make sure that examples of how they want it to be or put in the forefront and put out there like nice and shiny normal. Like this the bitch you need to follow right here. Follow her. Look at her. She's on. She's doing her thing. If you want to be on, if you want to be independent, do like her. Never show you the background. Never show you none of that shit. Whatever. Uh, and, and we're going off the premise that uh, Southside is the father. Um, 
because it still might be uh CEOP shit. Um, but we're going up the premise that this is her. But it's like, ain't no. <sighs> they put. I told y'all about Kodak Black. They're giving you examples of how they want you to act. And they don't show you behind the scenes when this bitch is crying because she knows that she's a horrible fucking mother, if you can even call her that. Um, but is she any more of a parent than a father in Iraq? child don't understand, you know what I'm saying, the father's off at war, um, come on, army brat or some shit like that, but it's just, it's just a, uh, because we get this shit, man, we get it, like, we, we, we deal with these motherfuckers every day that, that are, that are, um, that are off, you know what I'm saying, and, um, they're off because they, they just had one side.